Hello, this is the guide to the new game Undertale Simulated Approach. Well, it's a guide. So you originally will spawn here, which is the starting point. You, sh you save this point, just in case you want to make a guide of your own, because you don't have to walk all the way back here if you do. Trust me from personal experience. This guy, you can't fight him yet. He is not in the game yet, as a battle at least. You don't want to do the save point, but you can if you want. If you want to like start collecting the uh, travel buttons, you know? There's six in the game currently, I'm pretty sure. So, there's only so much. This game is in demo or beta, so there is no Snowden, okay? I'm just saying that now. Before like a bunch of questions if we go if I go into the comments and they're like where's snowman Snowden, I mean this is not real. You can walk through it. Don't try to do like the tutorial style walkthrough This is one of the most annoying parts, but um Here's where you technically get after this part look the first thing you want to do is not battle somebody you want to grab this and like make sure you saved and then you can start one of your battles it's randomized for every single monster you get but here's the thing the higher level you get the more higher level the monsters get or how many of them there are so PWR is technically your stamina which is right here to regain it, you have to pass with the sand icon. But actually, one second, this is a little bit too loud. Just a little bit too loud. So look, in a multiplayer, they would attack only one person. But you have very low health. I have 60 health, you have very low health. So, watch this. I'm gonna, look, this is my PWR, or mana, or stamina. And I'm gonna pass, and watch this. I passed, and, uh, jump, 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 oh yeah, look, I can, um, now look, it regains one stamina, now, another thing you could do is dab or bloop, now most people make a question about this, they say, what does it do, now watch this, I put it on myself, it's a buff to myself, and look, 2 plus WPWR, which is very good if you're like a really good per like a pro. Now, if you want a um what's the best item in the game is cheese. Not this stuff, not butterscotch persimmon pies, but cheese. Now watch this. Watch why it's the best thing in the game. Let me eat this. And look at that defense. You see that defense? Watch this. Watch this. Did you just see that? All of their block attacks are blocked. And guess what? This works on Toriel Osgore. Which is technically the shiny version of um Toriel. This works on them. And and they half their attacks don't work on you. So it's very good. Yeah, you could just stand here. But if you're like very new, cheese is the way to go. Cause you can get very good defense with cheese. Now watch this. This is a buff. It um costs three pub WP three stamina, and you can technically use it to buff your attack. Now here's what the attack buff looks like. You see these effects on me? This is the um this is technically the knife. Oh yeah, I don't I can stand still. Well um this is the knife. That little knife is like saying, oh you're buff now. Now watch this. I'm just going to obliterate these two wisdoms for 50 damage. That's a ton of damage with one attack. Now look look how look how active the community is. 99 plus. Also, toy toy knife is probably one of the best things in the game for now with its attack being super high. Now this is all the resources and stuff. Let, okay, okay. Oh yeah, this is the new loading screen. Um, here's why I recommend. How much dust do I have? How much dust do I have? So, uh, I used to have like so much. So here's why I recommend. After level six ish, and you get Dapper Blue, 
look, this is all the cards and stuff. Um, you want to walk all the way over here, and you know what? I'm just gonna. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there you are. Once you walk all the way over there, this is the new monsters. Now, the best thing you can get in here, I'm pretty sure. Actually, there's nothing much you can get in here that's actually good. You, you could farm, this is the best thing to farm if you have like a really good moss strike. If you don't know what moss strike is, it may look very weak, but it can hit multiple enemies. Now, this is very good for farming dust, but Toriel's better though. Most people can't defeat Toriel. This guy drops, you should farm this guy for Dapper Bluke right here. Look, let me show you. Dapper Bluke, farm that guy. If we go all the way over here, we go all the way over here, we just start, we go, we, we just zoom. We can go over here, where the first boss and the only boss in the game is. Now, you may be wondering, why is this the only boss? Because this is a game in demo. Now, you can't go through here. Look, it's physically impossible. Come on, make me lucky. No, but look, this is the play style on the bosses. Now, I'm going to obliterate this boss, but I need to get the shiny version before I can show you guys how good it is. There's also a cooldown on teleporting, so don't try to spam teleport. Look. Oh, I just used my cooldown. Look, this is the dust shop. It gives 10 different monsters randomly, and it could, the best card you can get from here is the toy knife. Which, toy knife is unobtainable for now. By only the dust packs. It can't be attained by any other means. That's why it's super rare. Unlike every card in there, it cannot be attained. Obtained. Come on, Toriel. Just give me your form. Give me the shiny form. Yes. So this is the shiny form right here. The first thing you want to do is Dapper Bluk. Now, it may not be good, but watch. I have two turns with it. Hear her attacks. Her first attack is this. Since this is a more rider range range of this stuff, you can dodge it more better. Now watch this. You want to see the power of cheese? Cheese, go! <laughs> the only attacks the cheese doesn't work on is the bolts from the sky, the lightning bolts. But watch this. Up. Oh, she put her defense up. This is when you do not want to attack because she does not get killed by anything other than toy knife if you try fireball she will deflect it not deflect it but just like you won't be able to get hit like it won't hit watch this 31 damage watch this oh wait oh i forgot to put the cheese no did the cheese run out I because the cheese is supposed to be able to dodge uh block that unless no did they patch it please don't tell me they uh Please don't tell me they patched it. That would suck. I pretty that thing was so overpowered though. The cheese. It would be able to block every single one of her attacks and she couldn't do anything. I really thought but it's still a pretty good um It's still a very good item because it heals decent and it's very good for bosses that do like five thousand damage per hit. Now, always Dapper Bluke, okay? That's that's the thing. You never want to run out of stamina, even if it takes some time. Attack up, this is very bad. You want, If there was another person here, I'd tell them to stun her, but watch this. I'm going to buff myself. I'm going to go like full out on her. The bird damage will do damage for me, which is 9 damage. I got hit, okay. I'm gonna butterscotch pie after, after this, but I can't waste my, uh. I can't waste the time. Look, defense up. No, this is where I got a butterscotch, cause look, watch, look what our attack is gonna be. Look, I'm gonna have more, look. It's not wasting because I have the fire damage still, but look. I'm kind of happy that I butterscotched. Because if I got hit here, I would have instantly died. These things do massive damage, so don't get hit by these. 
You may like stand still, be all cocky and stuff like that, but they do massive damage once you get hit by them. This is one of the easier attacks. Just don't jump. Jumping won't help you here. It'll actually make it harder. You see why. Look, it's in the sky where you can't see it. Also, Dapper Baluk, I need to use that now. She also heals, guys. She heals uh, like three-ish health. So you might look. You just she heals a ton. Okay. I'm gonna get that burn damage in. Because I really need burn damage, but she's a very easy boss once you have like higher level cards. But dang, that cheese, the cheese, bro. You don't, uh, it was. I think they, I think they patched it. Yeah, I think they must have patched it. Oh, my ult is about to be ready. Okay. I'm gonna attack one more time for my ult attack, and then after I'm like, you you guys gonna see my new ult attack. This is like one of the only two ult attacks, which is called Ember Ring, which is one of the best in the game. Now, the other one is Heartache, which is very bad compared to Ember Ring, because Ember Ring has massive burn damage. So, if she already has burn damage, burn effect on her, you wanna use your ult after that, because. The ult burn damage is a lot more worthwhile than the normal burn damage of a fireball or somewhere near that like heartache Now watch this Also embering only takes 75% so you don't really need to She also gives you every card that you she can give like will of ember heartache embering fireball and these are doubled so it would give 100 dust 200 coins and here it is. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it, what the luck is for Toy Knife. Look, look at the luck for Toy Knife right now. I I got one Toy Knife out of all three of those. Did you just see that? One Toy Knife. Now I'm gonna upgrade all. This is a very useful one. I'm pretty sure. Another thing you wanna do, you can lock cards. Lock, which technically says don't delete this. But that's pretty much it for now. There's no real updates, no betas, but Toy Knife, I recommend you guys get that because Toy Knife and Fireball, they're very good together with the burn damage and attack. The Ghost Sight doesn't let you die. The Heartache is a decently ult attack that costs 100. Hop slam is the worst thing in the game. Picked buffs your attack. A dance stuns them, but not for bosses. Heal just heals. Wiggles just gives you defense. Moss strike attacks multiple people, and stick smash only costs one pay WR and it's pretty decent. Quests are gonna be added soon, so once this game gets a new update, I'll be sure to show you what that new update is. Goodbye.